Tonight at first on CBS 46, the feds confirming what CBS 46 first told you on Wednesday. Closing the BD facility in Newton County could have dire effects on your health. Well, BD and Sterigenics in Cobb County sterilize medical equipment, but as we've been telling you for weeks now, they also emit a toxic chemical that could cause cancer. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is live outside the FDA building in Atlanta, and BD's closure could have detrimental effects, couldn't it, Jamie? Tracy, yeah, they certainly feel that with the shutdown of the stereogenics facility in Illinois and Smyrna, that the medical industry won't be able to handle a third facility shutting down. On Wednesday, CBS 46 first reported that medical manufacturers are extremely worried about the closure of sterilization facilities using the cancer-causing ethylene oxide. Now, the FDA coming out with the same warning. FDA is aware that there are several medical device manufacturers who are running low with regard to their current inventory of sterilized medical devices. Saying shortages have already occurred as a direct correlation between Stereogenics Illinois shutdown. Back to March, there was a shortage concern around a pediatric tracheostomy tube that was brought to our attention by hospitals. The agency went on to say that contingency plans are in place, but BD's closure will be a tipping point. Yes. They provide a critical supply of catheters, including the urethral, ca urethral catheters, uh, to the United States. Just given that degree of uh, market share of what is being supplied up to hospitals uh, from east to west, from north to south, that is um, a going to have an impact uh, were they not able to continue their operations. Now, I asked the FDA if the industry is too reliant on the toxic gas. They say it is a scientifically proven method and that the key is limiting the amount of ethylene oxide used in the process. Sean. Jamie, for years, the FDA has known about the toxicity of ethylene oxide. Why now? Why push the medical industry to find new ways to sterilize this equipment now? Well, Sean, they say that it really has only become an issue in the last year for the environment <coughs> and for the people living around the facilities. Now, they say that their only job is to make sure that the medical equipment going out to the public is safe and sterilized in a scientifically proven method. Sean. Jamie, this story is far from over. We'll get an update from you tonight on CBS 46 News at 11.